That's farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those, Those Taste, Taste Bud Guys. The Weechy and Scratchy Show. Nipples are still hard. I just really want to hear that. I mean, I, I know that's a thing, and I know that that's... Um, it just feels means something to me. Feel weird to hear. <laughs> that's, my, that's probably my problem, though. Right, at the end of the day. I think so. It's so quiet in here now. I know. It's, it's like weird. <laughs> the peanut We've been recording not with <laughs> all these people in this room to the point it makes us want to pull our hair out because people's talking and whispering and scuffling and moving chairs and <laughs> phones are going off. Mine will go off next. I forgot to mm -hmm. mute it. And no one's here tonight. It's, <clears throat> right. it's deathly, just us. Deathly, deathly quiet. In a good way. No one's upstairs. Yeah. Wow, this is weird. I didn't realize how quiet it was till we stopped to talk for a second. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. What's the Japanese greeting? Is it Konnichiwa? I think so. I think that's the... I think it is. Yeah. Or, or I'm wrong. Konnichiwa, probably. So, <laughs> I can't tell you that. Off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you think we're going to be able to pronounce this, you're so wrong. So wrong. Uh, all right, what all right. do you got? I am incredibly excited to do this because we was, uh, well, okay. This is a loner bottle, sort of. Uh-huh. I'm gonna loan it to you from my house. Okay. Because it's going back <laughs> home with me. Fair enough. <laughs> so, this we got this at the house. Yeah, uh, Morgan and Jared and I got into this one the other day, and Morgan came up with this. And I have not been the biggest fan of the Japanese whiskeys. I wanted to. Yeah. We've got the, We've got the old the Suntory. Suntory up there, and I think our other one's gone. Yeah, I think, yeah. It? So, anyways. <clears throat> not that they're bad, they just don't carry all the weight that everybody keeps putting behind them. So they're like, generally like a decent Highland Scotch. Yeah, they're right? like watered down Highland Scotch. I just, I wasn't a big fan of it. Morgan got this one, and this is the Nika uh, single malt from Yoichi, or Yoichi. Here's the deal. We're not even going to try to say them right. We didn't look it up. We don't give a crap because every time you yahoos get on the YouTube and start telling us what buffoons we are for not being able to pronounce it right, yeah, all that does is looks YouTube's algorithm looks at that and goes, hey, people are interested in this. Let's push it to the front page. So just keep commenting and telling us how bad we are. It's fine. Anyway, so this one is from the Yoiki Distillery. I know. I just, I know. Hmm. Listen, Anyways. Listen that cork. Um, there's at least three different bottles we found so far. This is the one we got. We grabbed it because it was the most heavily peated. Um, I'm taking a, a decent pour. I've only opened this bottle one other time. That's what I heard. So that's why I'm getting and a it's decent little amazing. Pour. I'll pour some while and I'll let you uh, hmm. show this bottle off to the camera. Um, that does have a nice nose on it. Let you show that front labeling off. So we absolutely love this. This bottle by itself has completely renewed my interest in Japanese whiskey. And I've been very excitedly wanting to bring this up here. Tonight's the night. Um, I am yeah. hopeful and very curious about what you're going to like say It's like the nose has like a, uh, like a Chardonnay uh, feel to it. Like a them, like them a, high, like a heavily fruity oaked, notes, like a big oaked Chardonnay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, there's a sourness at the top end that's that's nice. Okay. And then, I mean, that's the smoke's light, but it's there. And then some sort of fruit, like a. I don't want to say like peaches, but that's not it. Um, something else. Well, get into it. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Whoa. Whoa. Now that you said the smoke was so light. Wow. And not <laughs> Does that not just blow your mind? To smell something that light and fruity and go, okay, it's a light smoke. It's yeah. there. There's some sour notes. It's a little, fr and then you drink it and yeah. it's just as big a slap in the face as the Freud. Mm-hmm. It just, well, yeah. pretty close, pretty close. I may be, may be a little bit exaggerating, but not by a lot. Those fruit, wow. Those fruit notes are still there though. Mm -hmm. on, on on the finish. This has um, a better flavor pro 
profile all the way around than Lefroy was. I think and so. I, I love Lefroy. I think you might be right. Um, yeah, that's damn good. Uh, I'm struggling right now. How much was this roughly? Uh, tax and all, I think, is right about 80 bucks. Okay. So we're not talking about a, a gimme bottle. This is, you had to pay for this one. It's, it's not going to come cheap. Um, but totally something I plan on keeping at my house. I, so I will keep this on the shelf. My only complaint about this. Screw cap. Well, my second complaint about this <laughs> is that. We drink um, it without you. No, my third complaint about this is that the, the peat level, right? The smokiness is not in the nose. It's all mm -hmm. in the taste, which I love. However, with other really heavily peated scotches, People tend to stay away from them when I open them at my house. This one would be gone in a heartbeat because it's so that's, damn that's good. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like when you open a bottle of a oh, pour glass, people are like, uh, no, no, pass it. You know? But this, I think people would go all in on. This is, man, that's beautiful. Yeah. So apparently, like I said, there's like three different, or there may be more. I know there's at least three. Um, I don't remember the names of them right off. Uh, I, I knew them earlier and now I've forgotten. I uh, can't pronounce them anyways. So they're all from the Nika Distillery, but the distillery has different um, areas and towns. So this was the Yoki and what I say, the Hokkaido? What was it? Uh, That's the region, I think. Hokkaido region, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I, there's other ones from different regions, less PD, whatever. I, I'm gonna try to get the other ones in there. I have absolutely renewed my interest in what Japanese uh, yeah. whiskey can be. This is uh, <clears throat> this is stellar. Yeah, this is so really, really good. I like the dark fruit notes. It has a bit of a raisiny uh, yeah. character that comes Raisins. in there. That's I like all of that. I like how oaked it is. I like the peatiness that comes in behind it. Um, if you didn't tell me this was Japanese, I would just tell you this is a Scottish Scotch. Yeah, there's, wow. there's nothing about it that tastes different than a Scotch to me. My repellent ain't that refined, but yeah, to me, it's just a Scotch. Yeah, but it's a phenomenal one. I can't get over the marriage of those big, bold, smoky flavors with that nice, bright, wine-esque nose and, and finish on it. Just it it's beautiful. such a phenomenal drinker. Yeah. Um, I, I think this would fit the palate of a lot. If you really hate Pete, this might not be something that you absolutely love. It is smoky. But yeah. my understanding is this is the heaviest Pete of all of them, so you might want to go with one of the other once you get a chance to do that. Um, otherwise, I feel like this one could appeal to a lot of different drinkers. Yeah. And it might be a really great one to get into and, and try. Yeah, um, totally, totally agree. And for those of you that are wondering why I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt on a Japanese <laughs> Scotch outfit, it's because this is a Japanese Hawaiian shirt and it came from Japan. I think I said that one time before on Tommy's show. Did you do that on purpose? I did do that on purpose. <laughs> nice. Because I knew we were doing this now. <laughs> So oh. that's why. It's weird though, because the inside is all bright. I'm not wearing it inside out. I guess look this way. I'm not wearing it inside out. Why is that's it? just the way it, they made it. It's <laughs> odd, awkward. But... All right, until next time. Whether it be the Japanese scotch that you're drinking. The food you're eating. Clothes you're wearing or the from people, Japan. Or the people you're meeting grab a buddy and try something. And Myrtle Beach. No. <laughs>